what is the integrity of the financials given to you what it is that the financials are telling you on the face value and what it is they are camouflaging Going to buy or sell storage? That's a great opportunity. But before you take that plunge, here are five essential factors to assess to master the art of acquiring a self storage facility. Factor number one, but obvious, is location. If I could say the single most important attribute for you to consider while buying an existing self storage facility, then it would be for sure location. You can put your entire life force, your total budget into marketing your facility or you may put up the best possible customer experience but even best of your every single effort cannot turn a bad location in your favor. Although since the advent of internet, it has completely transformed the way in which marketing and sales are done today. The way by which your prospective clients will evaluate and assess renting your facility but no other factor can ever be the location factor ask these question when studying the location how visible is the site can it be easily seen by the drive-by traffic or is it tucked away far from you how far is the street inter intersection where vehicles can see and assess the facility from both directions how many cars pass the location each day how easy is the access can you turn into the facility from the main thoroughfare or does it uh, or does the entry require navigation through side streets how effective is the facility's signage can information be re easily read from a moving vehicle or a car what is the population density of your town factor number two financials Conduct a facility audit to make an assessment. Does the information pro provided by the owner or the broker is consistent with your first hand analysis? A lot can be camouflaged on papers. A lot. Being in the real estate industry, we've seen a lot of camouflaging, especially in businesses. Maybe you can ask one of your fam family members or a close friend to approach the facility as a renter and see what rate or packages, discounts they are offering. Audit the leases they already have to verify the rental amounts. Are they consistent with what the owners or the broker has reported to you? Review the latest rent roll. Are tenants current on their rent? Do they have a security deposit? Is the amount consistent with the lease? How many tenants are prepaid? How many are on auto pay? Answering these last two questions specifically will help you evaluate your tenant quality and whether the collecting rent will be able to will be as easy as the owner or broker have told you. Also request for the copies of the past three years of federal tax returns. Are income and expenses the same as the financials you have received? If not, there must be a reasonable explanation for the difference. For example, one-time expenses on the tax returns that were excluded from the facility's net operating income calculation. So before committing to a purchase, you have to thoroughly analyze the facility's financials for sure. Consider the cash flow, profitability, rental rates, evaluate the rent revenue potential and make it Align with your own investment score. What kind of ROI and in how much expected time can you get that ROI? Facility condition. Thoroughly inspect the facility, maybe with someone like your own contractor or a handyman or with someone who has a little more technical knowledge and determine whether the current owner has been keeping up with the maintenance or are there any deferred maintenance issues? Do they have software to run their operations? How old are the roofs? Are the roofs? Are the doors easy to open? Are latches new or rusted? What is the conditions of the camera, the security cameras? What are their contracts with pest controls? If you find some substantial problems such as roof leaks or a cracking pavement or pest control issues, get some estimates to for the cost to correcting them to ensure the acquisition financing or cash flow generated by the property can cover those expenses inspect the entire facility in to ensure it's in prime condition check for any structural issues or maintenance need you want to buy a facility 
that is well maintained and just ready for business. Existing upkeep contracts or say equipments, what kind of pest control contracts do they have? Are the CCT cameras still in warranty or do they have extended warranty on them? Or do they own their snow removal equipments? Or they have contracts with a snow removal agency? Do they hire any cleaning services? How often does their security system need updation or maintenance? All these might have yearly or seasonal contracts which might have to be reworked once you take over. So consider all those costs as well. Competition. Research the competition thoroughly in the area. Evaluate the number of competing self-storage facilities and their offerings. As you evaluate your target locations, also assess that although 10,000 cars may pass by your facility each day, if a competitor sees 15,000 per day, you're likely to have to work harder and spend more advertising dollars to generate the same amount of new business. What kind of online advertising do they have? Determine how you can differentiate your facility from other competitors and attract customers. If your competitor is a franchisee of a big self-storage chain, then how are you going to compete with them? Make a clear strategy for that. Definitely consider the potential for expansion of the facility. Is there room to grow the facility? Assess if you can add more storage units or introduce additional services in the future to increase your revenue system. Like you may want to, it's a self-storage facility with storage units, but you might want to add a boat or a RV parking to it. Or maybe just post boxes, a new uh, place for just post box size boxes. So does it have the bandwidth to, for expansion? Remember to consider these five essential factors, location, financial, facility condition, competition, and expansion potential before making your purchase or before, before even considering the property. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful con content on Canadian businesses. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video on mastering the art of acquiring a self storage facility. Happy investing. See you soon in the next video. Have a good one.